Weaver. One shockwave creep towards mid lane early to help out 430. 430 now gonna look to send for kill. He's got no damage, but they should be able to get a first blood. One sentinel stun. There's a second as well. And S4 brought down by 430, who gets the last hit as well. Very important considering he only had four last hits. A lot of IG fans and Arteezy can't really farm unless the supports are oh, shielding they him. they found in. him. Disruption to start. Follow-up stun to follow. The silence coming out and just gets run over. Now the dive under Crow with the swarm there. A little shadow poison Two giving poison some extra strength. vision. They might just be able to kill him off. Solo pops the stick Triple. trying to survive. Still slow down. Arteezy also dropping. Surrounded by the centaurs. They get the visage. They don't get Artur though. Pushes them back. Here comes Puppy with the heal, but I don't know if he can get out. Has to juke. Puts on his Nikes and begins to dance. Suddenly, Faith in danger. May end up dropping one more to auto attack. They get him. Nice turnaround by oh, Team man. Secret. Looks like it could have been a lot RTZ. uglier. What Secret may expect to push in. Yeah, I can definitely see Darks here being kind of the key IG hero. They gave him the safe lane, but he may go down. Top lane, Luo. Very low on HP. The Fire Spirits burn him down. Zai with a solo kill. Nice dive there, but they're making a go now. Bottom onto Artor for deploying the swarm. It actually is a bit mistimed here. Doesn't get it on. Oh, it does get it actually. Now the turn, the Phoenix rotates in, Zai looking for several kills, burning, can he get out of the burn zone? Barely able to escape, but they already lost two around the map. That Seeker chasing for a bit more, out come the Spirits on the 430, but he'll be healthy. Meanwhile in the woods, Chuan having a, playing a little peekaboo here, but S4's found him, the troll trap, gonna buy him an escape plan, at least for now. Puppy also meandering in, and yeah. Chuan has finally been evicted from this secret <laughs> jungle, but feels like he got the job done already. Yeah. Well, Zai now gonna... Cross paths with Chuan. There is a bit of a stun coming out. Follow up Troll Trap trying to force out that Icarus dive. Perhaps they disrupt him. Cool Soul Catcher, he might actually go down to this aggression. Turns with the Fire Spirit, though. Suddenly the auto attack's not available. And in comes reinforcements in the form of a dive forward combined with a plasma field. Secret take down two. And now bottom looks like burning. Oh, actually, Luo continue to engage with Curl here. Yeah, but no follow up. Luo doing a lot of damage. You can kind of see the potency of this dazzle for Puppy, though. The Shadow Wave doing a lot of help and assistance against the Iron Shell damage and something to kind of keep note of here. Uh, now 4.30, oh they just keep on going in one at a time to the Drow and they'll drop Trust another. Era. Now Faith could be next, Disruption's there, but he gets purged a little bit. The chase comes out, they need one more auto attack and they find him. He scrambles to the south, but the field clips him again. IG. No Frost Arrow, no momentum. problem. Arteezy just chasing people down with a triple Wraith Band boots. He's going purely for that assistive build in the max precision aura and not done pressuring the mid lane. They want the T1 tower. They have the purge from the, the, the Razor. It seems that's all they need when the disruption comes out. Yeah. They've got no initiation. There's no poison time. Zai has another dive available. They need a 430 stun here. And, well, won't get it in time, but now Burning comes in as well. There's no way out for Sai if he gets run down. But Sai from potentially a grave puppy getting in position. Burning Silence drops again. Nice pickoff by Secret. The wall deployed, but only on S4. His illusion not going to do a hell of a lot. And now the turn. 430 gets one. But was it worth it? Just the Phoenix for two cores. IG making poor trades here. They do end up getting the Drow, which somewhat equalizes it. I feel like IG need to fight around Secret's lack of mobility a bit more. They don't have any good lockdown. They don't have any good slows. You need to kite them around and not try to just rush into them. IG are thinking a bit overconfident, but the damage output from Secret. You've got five range heroes, all with precision aura. Everybody becomes a carry at some point, and already Drow Ranger has max precision aura. And the Phoenix jumps in, and they just run away. They need the Darkseer Vacuum, which is back up now, so Macy... Now another back, oh. catches out two, maybe three into the wall. That will slow them down, but secret. At this point, they know the wall is about to expire, and I don't know if they care. They just stick around and keep on going. Now the wall down, and this is the window secret. They do not want to deal with another full back wall, and in they go. IG up against it now. Do they sack the lane of Rax, or do they look to commit? Still no answer. Not fully going in. Burning just slowly plinking away from the south. Tries to go on Arteezy, but they swoop through. Almost killing up face. Another back, but no follow-up. There's no wall for this. Still, the rack stand. Burning doing a good job of stalling, but he's just not getting through their armor 
he can't damage yep. them enough. They're too tanky with their armor. The constant shadow wave coming out from Puppy as well, keeping everyone healed up. They know burning's off to the side, being pesky, and they've got sentries covering they can just every entrance. Him. He can't that even kill a support. Down. Normally with the Weaver death, so you look for those easy pickoffs. One lane of Rax about to fall here in full. IG already losing the range, Rax, and still no sign of being able to stop the aggression. The melee falls as well. And Secret looking for a bit more. They're going to chase on to Faith. They got off the silence with the gust. No follow-up just wall. yet. Uh, it is up, and for Secret, with no Aegis, this may be the time to back off, wait for Roche number two, and then look yeah. to take a second lane of rest. If IG Weaver, this is as good a timing as it gets for IG to make a high ground defense. For now, though, Familiar's laying in hot and heavy onto this tower. Bottom lane, they pop the S4 BKB. He zones everyone out. Sure, he doesn't get a kill, but the tower is going to die because of it. Now the back wall on several heroes. Secret still surviving, though. They tank through this. They go oh, in. Beautiful supernova. He may end up dying, but he's buying all kinds of time for the team. Burning is running Rex, Rex, go, About to drop him. Burning is tall. trying. IG do hold on for now. With the wall here, they may be able to last as Burning tries to equalize the Rack score slowly but surely in the top lane. And IG trying to prevent any TPs out. One will get away in RTZ in the tree line. Kuroki and Puppy, though, not being allowed to leave freely. A couple of familiar stuns and Burning he's unable yet to in. claim Rex. They do get Kuroki, though. Vacuum comes in. Burning re-engaging the radiant base while this is happening. Stuns there on the drag from the dragon knight. Going down. Visage still tanky and S4 oh. unable to finish off or Bernie unable to finish off him. I should say time lapse back goes in again. One more auto attack. He finds the solo kill. Arteezy can't do anything to stop this. Three secret heroes dead. Now they did take down the tier three bottom. They did some damage to the range racks. Some damage which will be healed off oh. eventually on the melee. And they take the secret gem. I don't know who's making these calls, but whoever's telling Burning not to TP back is a genius. I don't know if that's Burning himself or the team back at base saying, no, you've lost your opportunity to get them at the choke point. Blank, there's the vacuum. There's no wall follow-up just yet, though. Familiars will be summoned, and man, they hurt. Luo gets disrupted. Nicely played. The stun comes out from 430, but he drops as well. Secret blasting their way through the IG defense, searching for a 1-0 advantage in the grand finals. That will prompt a Darkseer buyback but still no wall secret tier three down gaming getting demolished here in game number one well what a way to start things off the good old classic drow visage and ig they had some moments where they really showed they knew what they were doing they had a plan as far as dealing with it but drow visage is still as strong as ever and it definitely caught ig a little bit off guard i feel it was the first two picks this game but IG go with something they've shown in the group stage, and we see Secret doing something different. And to me, that's where IG, it has been, I don't know if I would say a weakness, but it has been an element of this team. Brewmaster. It's always the Great tank. scouting from it's Secret. It's always that tango through kind of play that they could go for, and they're going to try to find Puppy. They get the lift up. Could be the first blood. Out comes the Shadow Strike, and in come the auto attacks. Puppy will be brought down, and first blood is spilt by IG. Yeah. Really right. nice ward. That does reveal to Puppy roughly where the ward is because the only no time, only way you know the timing of that. Holding the defensive trialing position, normally you can get ahead with pulls here. Not even able to get off a single one. IG are preventing them and now they're making their go in. On to S4. They get off the clap. Out comes the Grave Chill. The follow up might be their Soul Assumption. They got him. Kurogi too late with the save attempt. And now the chase on to Puppy. Another Soul Assumption. Man, that Visage doing work. Normally we don't see him in this kind of aggressive role nowadays. And Burning's going to make it a double gets the clap off. You know, it used to be that Visage was the lane dominator in the age of aggressive tri-lanes, 3v3 action, but the farmers are still on secret. And yeah, that's where RTZ, you want to just protect him that little bit more to get towards that mech. Very important not to let him get ganked here. It almost feels like they're happy to let S4 just get ganked and killed a few more times because he's already behind. You protect him, well, maybe you... Maybe you secure him a few oh, last They're going to make the move now. They find Kurogi, but they want RTZ. Faith jumps past oh, looking for him, but gets slowed wave. down by the Winter Wyvern. Can't get a rage. There's a Blake, a Screamed Requiem will force him back. Our 430, not wanting to engage. Now the raises could be in danger. Good lift, but it doesn't matter. Actually, oh, does. Out comes the stick. The oh, they turn it. Luo in the front lines now. Good <laughs> embrace there. Trying to keep RTZ alive for a bit longer, but now Luo will lay into him. And one last swipe of that burning nunchuck and down. 
down he will go. Ends up being a two for one. Amazing that 430 lived that long. Held the stick, baited everyone, including me as a commentator. If the Brute didn't rotate from top lane, he would have lived as well. That was and later on, and they're not done. They're going to catch up Kuro now in the trees. And Ferrari there, they're going to use the Bruce split to secure this kill. Kuro can do nothing but nothing but watch his carcass fall. And uh-oh, still no mech. Arteezy caught out here in the mid lane underneath his tier two tower. He's got the protection of that, but that may not be enough. 430's got another scream, and Arteezy, solar subject scream. Arteezy trying to wind himself back up. Still alive, Raids one. He turns it around with the support of Zai. IG overextend and get punished. Schwan's going to fall as well. It's three down just for the Winter Wyvern buyback. What a swing of momentum. Excellent decision making there by Arteezy. And IG, they thought he was a lot squishier than he actually was. Once you have the buckler activated, he's not easy to bring out. And that's before the mech comes out. Now you have to worry about S4 potentially getting a little more. They're oh, going to put Luo under, and they will bring him down. 430 has the ult. Can he get in range to kill anyone off? He's got to be careful about jumping in here. They try to deal with the spider lanes. The other thing that was a little surprising there, guys, was the rotation. Not expecting the Brood to join a fight like that generally, but then he came, caught them off guard. Just winds up, dishes out some damage to secure a T1 tower, and why not at this point? Oh, uh, far, he tried to walk in, but he gets tossed back by a swap right into the mech. Excellent teamwork from Secret. That lift could have led to his demise otherwise, and meanwhile, an Orchid comes outside. Go here, I engaging on the Lua, the follow-up's coming potentially from the Winter Wyvern, but he's got a complete Needed Crips and Guard. Good luck. Secret still working on Luo. They bring in S4. And with the amp, that's where he may drop quickly. No! The Quills almost put killing on Zai. He does get saved by the Winter Wyvern. They get the kill, but Burning arrives. Now the mech coming out. Turning with the raises. The splits there to someone negate it. S4 gonna blink back. They cycle it up our tour. And reinforcements come in now. If they can get the Shadow Fiend, that is a big takedown. He gets Boulder Toss. Where's the reinforcements? Familiar's busy dealing with other heroes. The Cyclone again. IG may he just be backing off another Blake. Crush on two. IG unable to finish him off. A Queen of Pain on. barely tickles S4. He gets healed up, but also kept in place for S4 to be finished off. Kind of a tough situation for Kuroki. And now Arteezy. 1v3, maybe four. Can't do it alone. Raze is being chucked out willy nilly, but he will die. And then to just rub some salt in the wound, Faith will finish it off by stealing and using his own Requiem against him. Oh man, IG getting so much out of the farm. The top of that fight, so smoke, and they're ready for it. In fact, they might even go in, gods. The pings come out. Puppy starts the fight with a swap. They look to blow up 430. Requiem's there. They quickly get the job done. It's burning his son, but he will get off the split, trying to deal with these BKPs. The Venge will fall, an expected loss for Secret, but Zai's next run over by the Visage. Cyclone onto the Winter Wyvern, who's yet to really have an impact in these fights oh. and tries to keep himself alive. They Another soul assumption should end him. More importantly, Arteez isolated burning quick on the chase tp out is there a lift waiting any sort of stun he gets out our tour able to survive but still heavy damage secret just don't have the firepower they got the swap requiem but they could not stop the burning split they don't yep. have the physical damage and when he gets that split off blink to the north they look for arteezy and they will get him there's the grid follow up there's no swap available but he does bkb quick tp out queen of pain on. it's too much IG just blasts through our tour and they're not losing anything. They hold the bottom lane. TP's coming out and that is the hero that has to get fat if Secret want to take this late. Broodmother is going to fall off. We've already started. It was kind of like IG did a lot more damage to the base, but they a tier 3 for a tier 3. Look at this. They want to go right back in on the mid lane. They're going to make their jump. Oh, what a That's Fade with the stolen crush on two. See you later, Secret, he says. And now they've got confidence and they don't have a split push problem to worry about, gods. IG, straight up the mid. And this could be a late of Rex. It might be more. There's no tier twos left standing. If Secret's on a buyback, they, they don't. Drone even? Like, they don't know. They might not know about these buybacks being down, but at the very least, you take one look, Rex. You see they're not buying back. You consider a second. Absolutely. I feel like that is. Uh, this is the timing. You've still got Aegis on Queen of Pain. 430 is rocked back up, and you either go for another lane of Rex or you start poking at those tier fours. And that's what Lua has in mind. 
bottom towards lane. bottom. Even if Secret of Five, it's going to be tough for them to fight. But without it, how can they? Luo in the front AC here. AC arrives. IG clumping up the ACs here in the Blake board. They found S4 Hex and dead. It looks like beaten down by the gang of IG heroes that descend on him as they look to make this best of five, a best of three. They get the crush off to turn it. The Requiem comes out, but nobody cares. The Bruce splits there. Luo tanks through it all. Cyclone doesn't get cast. They lose the Wind Panda. The Queen of Panda over the top. IG just laying in the secret. They'll bring down Arteezy. Can't save him with the embrace. And now they may lose more. BKB galore. Five Echo Shadow Fiend to one end, though. Puppy's dead. Arteezy's about to be the next on the list. He gets hexed again. And they continue crushing their way forward. Now the stun, the clap. They get him. Another death. It's a buyback for Arteezy. And IG have secret by the throat. Any second now, expecting to see that GG out. Kuroki looks like he'll be the last man down. Soul Assumption continues to take auto attacks and will fall in the end. IG. Looks like they've made this a 1-1 series, Gods. All right, there's no coming back from this deficit. It's at least another lane of racks, and with that, IG pull even further ahead. They did take three casualties, but this second lane of racks, and where is the comeback potential on the secret side? Slada had to buy back. He's got no BKB. Arteezy had to buy back that fight. That slows down his item progression, and Brood, just a hero who is already starting to fall off. Picked up a Desolator just for these last couple of fights, but... He's not going to get to use it. They actually go for the second lane of racks. They kind of get cold feet there with the Winter Wyvern and buyback and aim. The swap to start though. They do get Bernie. He's got BKB the evasion. Too much for Secret for now. The stolen swap comes out. Oh, Faith with curse. all the plays. Burning kept alive and should be able to turn this. He's still got the split. He's gonna use it right before the crush. And now they swing back the other way. On to Zai. Getting chased out. Still for now. Secret hanging on, but they've lost the slaughter. They're gonna lose Curl quickly. Cornered and just isolated completely. Faith again and again on the Rubik. Denying Secret. Four dead and G. G. The crowd gets a little excited as IG turn this best of five into a best of three. Well, with that, things even here between two of the best teams that have made it into the finals here. Secret and IG just putting on a bit of a show here. First, it was a pretty straightforward win for Secret, although IG really looked impressive even in defeating game one. And this time around, IG turned the tables and tie things up. Well, with this, Gods, we're guaranteed four games. Potentially, we're going to get five, though we'll have to wait a little while to find that out. But man, oh man, Visage seems to be the hero for this series so far. First two picks in the, the first game and first overall pick this time around from IG. In their chairs and ready to go. All right, folks, it's time. We're back in the AP remake. Players selecting their heroes quickly. It's IG versus Secret Game. Three. Off this, they're going to go in top lane on Kuro with the cast. They don't get the bounce back onto Kuro, but uh -oh. it may not matter. He's trapped in the side anyways. Lua doesn't need another nuke because Kuro, surrounded, looking to juke, has a couple of tangos to escape, but the right click damage, too much. First blood goes Lua's way. Meanwhile, mid, though, they try to make a move on 430, but the centaur stomp doesn't connect. Puppy trying to find those early kills and unable to do so. And for the undying, by pressure, the analyst talked about it. We're seeing it now. Out comes the Maledict. A beautiful cast, though. Arteezy can be in danger. He gets nuked once by the Brood. And then the follow up comes from auto attacks. They get the kill. And look at the upheaval. They can't even get near anyone. Lo looking to engage further as Lowell gets off an auto attack here or there. Does He's he have Mana for spawn? Spider leads. He does. Finds Puppy as well. Nice turn of events for IG. They hold the tower. And I think more importantly, gods, they killed the Pugna, but mid lane, meanwhile, Viper just uh, laying in, trying to make up for this a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, Viper winning the mid lane pretty heavily on Seekwave, but Burning's still got a lot of good team fight items. He's got a drums, he's going to go for a BKB first. He's really Dying itemized so that he can fight early on. Well, the tower's already dead, and now a blink call comes out onto Burning, but there's no follow-up just yet. He's able to blink back and survive. Now the rock. that's on quite a few. Chuan going through with the Death Ward, and he's healing all the while as the Pugna Ward expires. S4 drops low, still survives through this, but the Brew Split follows it up. Now onto Puppy. They just can't attack him, though. He's basically invincible to physical damage. Arteezy continuing to do work on the back lines, dealing with the Brew Split. There's no backup for Burning here, and the Zombie Apocalypse is rendering this Brew Split all but useless towards the end. A two for one, but that is every big ultimate expended there. The Warlock ult, the Queen of Pain ult earlier, as well as the Brew Split. 
But meanwhile, guess who's knocking yeah, on the <laughs> back door bottom lane? Oh, Axe gets a nice pick, a big pick up on Burning, but that was, I think, really well executed by IG. They get the T3 tower in the end at bottom. Luo not even needing to TP back to fight it. And it's something we talked about. And the stick charges won't be an easy kill. 430, lunging forward again, wants to isolate Zion on the back lights, but gets hit by another strike. Chase forward, claps there. Can they bring him down in time? Out comes the rockets, cool down. Luo getting called though. Artizi kept alive by a nice oh. decrepify, but it seems the team fight might be too overwhelming from IG. Running down Zai, the golem gonna assist him as well. They get a second kill, two cores down, including Zai. That ends a mega kill streak, and they're not done just yet. Kuroki on the run has no TP, and Luo knows it. Drops the tombstone on the high ground, not gonna help him. In comes the spider, it's spider on zombie. Massacre in the jungle, but the zombies do add up here a bit. Now the death ward, they need it all to kill off secret. They get another, Chuan being surrounded, IG getting overrun. Man, they just can't deal with these zombies. Puppy getting chased back a bit further, and will limp away in the end, but my goodness. So many summons and minions at these chip battles and just daring IG to come in and actually fight. As long as they sit back, we'll continue this. They call to kill off the Spiderlings again, and now Bernie makes his move. He jumps right into the Death War, takes a lot of heavy damage off the bat, but meanwhile, Chuan's going to work on the backside of the fight. S4 will fall to Luo, BKB, and they just can't deal with him. Now the Queen of Pedal. Zai calls nothing, basically the Tombstone down, and Zai will fall as well. IG able to hold the line. Arteezy looks to turn this one, but Luo just too tanky. Now with Polder coming out, follow-ups there. Pandas and Spiders working together to bring down Scout. Skeletons and Bambi. Puppy should be next. Three dead. The look. Espinal leaves for the deer, and it seems they may find him. Another crit. Puppy unable to survive. Still the warlock out going. That golem doing some heavy lifting. It's five dead. IG. They clean up all the creeps, the tombstone, the ward, and Secret just lost every ounce of momentum they had in this game. And with that, a whole lot of momentum in this game. The ults are on cooldown, and that's where Zai looks to make his move. Jump in quickly onto Luo, the Teth Ward coming out from the high ground. It's Chuan who just stands and delivers. They also have the slow going for the Warlock. It's a full duration Death Lord. Somebody stop this man. They can, and Secret still trying to fight their way through a troll trap on Bernie, but he's got the Aegis. How the hell is Chuan still alive? Healing his teammates, getting zapped endlessly. Doesn't even care. Another jump forward, looking again for the Pugna, and they'll find him, it seems. Luo just continues pursuit. Nobody dying for IG. In the end, they all survive. They bring down Curl last, but not least, double team wipe. Oh my god. Team wipe into team wipe. The Warlock pick is just insane. Five heroes just slowed to a standstill. They cannot move outside of the upheaval. It has just been insanely powerful. You combine the upheaval with Death Ward. It sets up a beautiful Sonic Wave. If you need. They didn't even have Sonic Wave that fight. They didn't even have Split that fight. It was just purely the Queen of Pain. They're going to try for it. Nice positioning here from 430. Ninja Brew into the front lines. He's found Arteezy in the trees. He spots out the ward as well. Is he going to make it go? They lose the range racks. And, well, he may just throw Kuro up in the air or something. I, I think he's looking for that 2-3 hero clap and then immediately just go straight on the racks. Is he going to find it? 430 patience from him as Burning initiates. BKB popped by everyone. Zai looking for the call and oh, Arteezy. He just melts to this. He tries to glimmer away. He life tries to turn it. He's not dead at the Fallon just yet. Do they stun him or kill him off? No. They're just trying to lock the other heroes down. So if not enough, they will fall. S4 gonna drop suddenly three cores, actually two. Fight the dust along with the Undying. And now looking onto the melee racks, but the Bruce Foot's gonna end fairly soon. Arteezy's still alive through this, and 430 may be forced back a little bit here. The Golem's about to wear off. They're losing their momentum. Look at the damage coming out from that life drain. And they'll chop down 430. A three for three with a buyback on Secret. Huh. And honestly, a great hold from them. And God's meanwhile mid, Range Rex is about to drop for huh. IG. Very, very odd fight from IG in the, a few things. Like, they didn't wait for the Axe Scepter on Fate. They they dove Arteezy really far, but didn't yeah. focus him with a boulder toss. I feel like 430 just oh, needed to go, with, like, throw an ultimate up, and that he's got BKB and Defusal Blade. And Arteezy bottom lane. Good luck, my friend. Well, not sure what the plan will be. Quick purge, but he's trying to man fight his way through this one. The, continuing to go as Luo, <laughs> slowly getting him worked down. Arteezy, look at the life drain, but for now survives. Now the golems come, and they look to finish him off. Out comes the first strike, in comes 430. They'll bring down Arteezy. We need to commit a lot for this feeling. one. Zai with a great call. On to three, the golem's about to drop, and now comes Tron. Death Ward a bouncing, doing massive.
of damage. Kuroki next. That's going to be three dead. Buyback from Artur. Meanwhile, Zai trying to retreat out. He will drop as well. It's four dead, including the buyback. And that's four. The last man standing just deals with the Aegis, but that's it. He's left alone. Another Viper Strike won't matter. Down he goes to five dead, plus the buyback on Artiz. It'll be a second buyback, but they got nothing, guys. You can't fight into up. If you fight into the IG team, you have to fully commit because upheaval means you're not running. This is a fight you're fully committed to once you take it. And that defusal blade just making oh, life so man. damn hard for Artiz with a crit. He just gets run over. Now it's the Viper getting kited. Scotty's there. Double die back, IG. About to make this a 2 1 series, guys. GG. Well played indeed. Well. Luo on the Brood had an incredible performance and showed a new different way this hero can kind of be played. Normally it's just the space creator. This time around he started off that way, but he was the key piece as far as defending against the five-man secret push. He came up big and then late game, oh man, he was just, he, they had no answer for him. The way he itemized was just perfect this game. That was, I think, the first time I've seen a Brood go that late, honestly. There was the, the one other game that comes to mind was when I think Zai played a Brood at DAC. He went for that Dagon 5 Ethereal Blade build, and he went really late and still had an impact, but... 10 seconds remaining. Needs assassin. Kuro's in deep. He needs to be careful. Uh -oh, He's per surrounded. But he has got boots. But there's no lockdown okay. at all. It's a level one invoker. He's got nothing. They needed a Nyx stun to try and get that yeah. kill. And then they got the grave chill off. It could have led to something. But yeah. apart from the Dark Seed, this is like the exact draft Secret was running Seven during DAC in 6.83. Oh, a lot of contest early. Somebody's coming down from the looks of the way this one's shaping up. Faith is into the front lines. They get a Nyx done. Only a one hero, Kuro. Thinking about a jump on him. Do they want to focus the Adyan here, though? He's a fairly durable hero in general. He has got up to K, but it, Faith, no, he gets it off. He's surrounded for now. So everybody dropping Lord Secret. Kuro as well as Puppy, but both alive. They live life on the edge here. However, they might lose Arteezy on the way out. Slowed and brought down, and he skilled the raise as well. Should be okay here as he's going mid, but a nice nice turnaround at least mm. for IG. Still the first blood going Secret's way, but both supports very low gods. They basically spot him and they just don't benefit as that much from the R as, as a lineup compared yeah. to other drafts. The Nyx pick does give them these weak lanes, but I feel like they're confident they can make up for it. Pop lane, Chuan, he may just give up first blood here. Zai does not have boots, so Chuan, meanwhile, does the TP coming in. Chuan, he gets out of range. Surge forward and Zai. Uh -oh. Solo kill. TP out. The Decay, though. Nice rotation. That's Faith, I meant it early TPs, but I didn't really expect a, a Decay Tombstone counter gank to get a kill. Kind of give up oh, that you may lose. Surge into a lift top lane. They're going to go on Chuan quickly. The familiars follow this up. So all assumption turns and he gets Kuro oh. first anyway. Oh, you poke oh. The, the lion in the eye. And let's see what happens. Tornado EMP comes back the other way, though. S4 gets stunned. He runs out of mana and he's dealt with mid. Chain of kills, and meanwhile, there was a Nyx yep. kill, it looks At like, bottom. in the bottom lane. Luo makes it a trifecta for IG. One minute, everybody kind of dancing, and now they get off the EMP on Darteezy. S4 looking to turn this one around. He gets pushed back by a gust, slow down by the arrows. Man, S4 drops great grave by Puppy to keep him alive, and will end up jumping away, but Zai wanted to go in. He unloads the wall. They weren't ready for that one. Two down. They might lose a familiar as well. Big plays from the Swede. They get a tombstone as well, and that was by the golly, surprise. Gods of a blink from Zai. He just picked it up, had the headdress earlier, but Mech was already up on Arteezy, and that was, that's, that's, the, that's the way you want to unveil a blink yeah. <laughs> And importantly, Arteezy had the wand charges to pop the wand and use the Mech to heal up his Dyer's team, give him that little team fight boost. And uh, you do try to stall here with the EMP, and it gets stolen by Kuro. But not enough. They need a little more from Arteezy, who's channeling the Requiem around the side. They quapple those up there looking for a blink scream. But they need to be sure they'll get kills off of this. And S4 gets cold snap. He loses all his mana to a mana burn. But nice grave by Puppy. Keeps him in fighting shape for now. He screams desperately. Familiars laid in him. They can't kill him off. He blinks out, but they still lost the Dark Seer. A two for two. Very even fight, but that was without burning. Who's just off men? Yeah, I'll take your tier one. Thanks for that. And they very, it, it was so close to getting worse. S4 attack. had urn charges, zombies on him. He only barely saved a life thanks to a grave and then a well-timed shadow wave as the grave was wearing off. So You could 
while they're thrown up in the air. So it was kind of this awkward team oh, fight. They're coming where... right back in from the south, oh. looking to go. 430 gets lifted. Centuries. They had a sentry waiting. They're going to toss him back. The stolen tornado clips two. Kuro has been slowed down a little bit, so but he four steps away. Actually, that was a buddy that bailed him out as he continues to retreat and may end up going down here anyway to familiars. Where's that grave? He does get grave by Puppy. Side blinks it, but he got silenced. He doesn't give anything. Artiz is ready, though. Unwinds the Requiem and starts pounding into faith. Almost dead. Rage gets it done. It's a triple, but then he's dealt with. Burning also dropping low. Doesn't seem to have the BKB. Puppy in danger to familiars. Another grave. S4 leaps forward, finishes off Burning. Now three on two, and they forced IG back in the tree light. If they whiff a stun, Secret are going in hard. They'll do it anyway. The stolen gust, the follow up stun. Two dropping very low. Not dead yet. Chuan gets off familiar stuns. It's four. And IG, it might be a team boy, Bluo. Blake's even farther back, but gods, he doesn't have a TP. Well, they can just kind of leave him here, though. Yeah, He's out of the fight for how long. S4's Basically a team wipe at this point. What a fight by Secret. Oh, man. Artiz in the front lines. Top that top was top. the time to have a BKB in a fight. Because IG, I think they were just chasing. They were like just gunning for secret there. They had no HP. Lou was at like 250 HP at the start as they were chasing after. This is Luo completely whiffing on the stun. Can they turn this? They're gonna try to with the silence to get the Shadow Strike off, and now Arteezy engages, lets off the Requiem. It's basically a whiff. Does slow down a couple of here's the Quapple. Oh, also an air ball, doesn't get Luo, and now the BKB's gonna wear off for Arteezy. This has to be the window. If IG are to take a fight, well, that BKB's down. The Quapple's been wasted. But even now, can they go? Lua's a bit low in HP to engage. The zoning right? wall gets dropped. They do manage to find 430. He got baited into the trees, and down he goes. Remember, he bought back last fight. I don't think he can rejoin this one. Actually, he has the buyback ready, it looks like. Maybe he can get back. Secret on the run now. They lost their Rubik. Rubik for Invoker. They're happy with that, but the zombies might make it a little more. Luo finds S4. That's the bigger kill. Therein lies the gateway to Roche, perhaps. S4 blinked into the tombstone and then took a mana burn, which just crippled him. And, and they're going to go for it, gods. And this is fast damage well, burning. What do you know? A very fortuitous. Convenient. Hey, he's playing S4, man. Oh. Fair's fair. Zai the Magician. Oh, they've got a full stop. Burning needs to TP because you cannot attack Roshan from this cliff. This actually... Uh, that's I, a big play. I mean, that, that Zai is the counter to the, the, does, the rune, huh? Does that stop Roche? I don't know. It Our might. Teasy's back. And Rubik respawned. They're going to contest it. 25 seconds on the Queen of Pain, though. Out of the fight. No Still Requiem on Shadow Fiend. And they're going to go for it. They get the stun on Puppy off the bat. Has Zai's work been for naught? It seems they'll lose another. Down goes the Shadow Priest, and in goes IG. The Roche will fall. I, need just a I mean, Zai, Zai is doing some heavy lifting this game, but seems to be the place where stuff happens, and Arteezy smoke gets revealed. Secret moving in. Blake's forward onto Chuan. BKB pop. They need the big back. They only get Chuan with the wall. That's not the best initiation, but it is the first kill of the fight. Tombstone deployed in the middle of everyone. Could be focused quickly. They're going to kill off Faith as well. Two supports down. 430 running in. Drops the Meteor. Doesn't really do a whole lot with this. They need burn to be the heavy damage dealer. Finds Kuroki, There's three auto attacks will kill him up. Now on to S4, he's low to though, he falls to the end. Great grave for Puppy, turns to fight 430. Trapped in the trees, the last man alive and the last man down. It's a team wipe. Secret smash IG against the rocks. And they want to make sure they get Shen off of this. They don't know the buyback status for IG, so it's like, okay, there's top lane to push out, but let's get Roshan while there's five dead. This could be the only opportunity to do this. And the wall was not perfect, but it was good enough from the secret side, and it just created this location where IG had to really kind of Radiant's spread out and fight around, and IG attack. could just not be as good. Give you that little bonus. They're gonna jump in now, Zydo, because the hex up a more step down. Lifted and dealt with by, by Secret. That fell up the tombstone. A secret are forced back a bit. The grave comes under curl. Man, they're also tanky. Out comes the Crimson Guard. They're still kept alive through all this as both teams kind of backing off. Du dueling tombstones, and as the fight ends, uh, there's a bit of lag, and we'll have a pause. To get a counterplay, you want to get a big kill or two, you want to turn things around and make it worthwhile. Instead, Secret just forced the cooldown. They'll wait the Rubik respawn, they'll wait out for another Hex BKB on the darks here and wait for another good initiation, then they'll go in again. Well, Unfortunately, they won't have Aegis. IG won't wait for anything, it looks like. 430 is looking to move in. They, I believe, I thought they smoked for this, maybe not. And they're swinging around, but while they're doing that, Burning's getting caught in the mid lane, quickly dealt with. 
finished off by a nice NKB prop there as Arteezy will close him out. Now the back connects on several. Arteezy does get stunned. Burning buff back and re-engages 430. Trying to finish him off. He's Arteezy got no armor. not tanky enough. No, he is. He gets off the Satanic and they can't finish him. Dribble making it an ultra. Artur unstoppable. That invoker dead for a hundred. And Burning left to do it alone. Hunts on the puppy. A couple more hours. Can he finish off Arteezy? BKB activated, but he's chunking him down. And he'll win the fight. It's a rampage. No buyback on Burning. That is two deaths on him. Artur buys back. Boots are travel in. They're going for the win. They're going for the GG. No invoker. No draw ranger. No answer to Team Secret. Uh, you can Radiant's just throw it at this point. If they saw attack. the buybacks, they go for the mega creeps here. It looks like maybe. No, now they've changed Down their mind. It's guys. time to go to a game five, says Secret. This one's going the distance, Down and it's official attack. now. Secret strike back in a huge way. Oh boy. We get the full five games. Team Secret looked a bit shaky in the mid game. Roshan after Roshan going to IG, but they just held their own. They weren't flustered. They waited till they got those really big late game items. And Zai, once his hex came up, those blink hex initiations, they found the pickoffs. They were the ones getting the jump. And IG almost playing too passively, too scared to make a play, go for a push, because they gave Secret too much time, too much space to get these big late game luxury items. I mean, looking at the way that this game developed, you feel like IG should have tried. Enigma. He catered the, the, oh. the dire jungle. He may just rotate on the burning top lane. There's now four what? radiant heroes descending on him. This is going to be a tough, tough kill. Yeah. And um, Arteezy runs right into the, the tower. tower. But the, they may this just take the tower. Now the Echo looking for first blood IG. And they got him. One last punch from that Shaker. Brings down the safe lane Razor. But Burning has to watch in horror as his tower falls unopposed. I mean, not the lane. S4 has just got a second or two before he's going to die here to a potential fissure. Luo backs off into the side shop and S4 are going to skate away. They're going to catch. This was not really the best way to start the game. They still have a fissure. Holding it for a while. Faith taking heavy damage from the plasma field, basically max damage. Razor's come out, S4 was... survives it. Not sure why Luo didn't just go. Seems like IG didn't have communication together. And now Dyer's Chuan will be the one who pays Dyer's the Piper, Dyer's gets backed out of a TP and goes down in the end. Miscommunication here, costing yeah. IG. It's the right time to go for that play. You, there's no levels top lane. No, they say they both said they respected each other, but no respect shown here as Arteezy stuffs burning six feet underground. That is the way you want to unveil that blink. And gods, they have a relocate ready. Roshan line up for their side, unfortunately. Top lane. going in. He gets caught with the fissure. They're going to follow the this up. There's the enchant totem. Will there be a relocate? Oh, no, there's a dunk. He was too Curl far away from the tether. Home, and he might come back and get caught. They're pinning him out. They know where Curl Radiant's relocated from. And just a little attack. bit to the south. There you go. IG going to set up shop here. There's that little orb. Gets clubbed down. They lose the Tiny, they lose the Wisp, and it's up to S4 bottom mm. to try and get something out of this. They're no looking to create turn. space for other happenings uh -oh. on the map. I don't know how much space they've created. Maybe some for Kuro, the Orbs. Oh. Barely missing, but backups arriving. Here come the Cavalry. Back on to follow up on the 430. They're going to as well. Popping that Shadow Fiend wide open. Well, it is space in the end. They are working on the Roshan, but it's expensive space. Yeah. Two cores down. They were okay Radiant's losing maybe the Earthshaker there, but losing Shadow top. Fiend as well. The T2 Dyer's Tower, which should have been denied earlier, and suddenly Seeker get a big Dyer's gold boost, and IG still struggling to finish off Roshan. They finally get it, but it doesn't even feel like it was uh, like the best use of their time. They could have been getting the same amount of gold I mean, the Radiant Junk. The Earthshaker game to end all Shaker games now. Some big shoes to fill for Luo. Let's see if he can get started on that route. He's going to try for it. Bottom lane, there's the dunk, the Requiem, but Arteezy survives it all. Pops the drum, he will fall. Well, they started off pretty hot, guys, so they get punished on the way out. In comes the Wisp. They back oh, in one. one. They just barely miss on the second. 
That's definitely worth it for IG. Yep. And Shaker, who already bought and I've used as Midas. Comes uh, from here comes a Surge S4. The Enchant Totem off the mark. Luo gets four step back. He's going to need to blink out. He can't in time. Now back, back in. They have the black hole. Do they look to engage Fissure? Per oh, almost perfectly timed. Pushes S4 around. And now they catch two. The Requiem Martins. He gets caught in the middle of it. Survives for now. Here comes the follow up from Burning. And Schwan again with the death ward. But everyone from Secret survives for now. Arteezy kept alive, finally brought down, but it's going to cost the rest of the team. It's a trip for S4, the real winner of this fight. Burning scurries back, he might have to clean up. He's going back in on S4, he finds one. Burning, no more time lapse. I don't think he gets another here. The Wisp went back towards top in the end, and if that Fissure was, if he had just a little more life, he could have held it a bit longer, then gotten an actual stun off on the, on the Razor. Could have filled him off sooner, too, but time to do anything about this. Now comes the Plasma Field. They get eyes on what's going on, and now Arteezy engages. He finds Faith. He clubs him down despite the BKB. No buyback available. What a train wreck of a way to start the fight. They're going to lose Tron as well. And with one fell whoop of that giant stick, Arteezy has secured his team Roche and maybe more. That was just weird. The Dazzle scouted out the Enigma and the Earthshaker there on the high ground, and then they just stood there like, okay, we're just going to keep standing here protecting Roshan, but if Secret engage, they're not going for the Roshan heroes. They're going for the Enigma. Enigma's the hero that's going to win the fight. The Earthshaker's going to win the fight. And Arteezy said, I'm going to kill the Enigma before I try and contest Roshan, because there's no way I'm going to the Roshan pit and letting Enigma blink black hole me. Oh, the drums of endurance getting plopped down on the ground because Arteezy's got a bigger and better item to unveil. Uh, by the way, God. I just have two IG sweeping around from the side. They got the Fissure to start. They're going to find Artor. They need to bring him down quickly, though. That Wisp is in position. RTZ popping the PKB, going to work. Where's the relocate? No, doesn't need it yet. Has the agent. And now they look for round two. Luo caught out on the sidelines. The Requiem comes the black hole. Was waiting for RTZ and catches out Kuro. But kept alive by the mech. They're going to turn the fight. They bring down Zai as well. Three dead instant buyback. IG unable to deal with two lives on the tanky rock man. And 430 barely blinks out of somehow of five they heroes. Might, they might lose Burning as well. Fissure on two, but Arteezy chucks him actually forward. Wants to claw Luo instead. A little bit discombobulated. He can't blink. As they continue the chase, they're going to Shiva's Luo, and he may die again. Chuck toss him down. It's a dieback. 80 seconds on the side. Secret are going to push high ground. This could be it. Secret looking at a potential full lane of Rex. There's no blink. Black hole. There's no shaker for 70. It could be more gods. This is all your big ulties on cooldown. Not just the black hole, but death ward. Requiem of souls. This is at least one lane of racks and IG running out of answers to the secret push. Oh, they're gonna find another jam. 430 down for the count. And no buyback there either. If Secret know it, if they've done math, they could go for the win right here. Could this be their first ever land win, gods? They've never taken an off-flight tournament. But they're about to here. It looks like a battleground. Smashing through the bottom lane. Straight on mid. The tier four is about to fall. And Secret are your Red Bull Battlegrounds Dota 2 champions. The first ever in the world. Game one, it was the Drone Visage Classic. This game is the Wiz Tiny. Two classics and Secret. What a performance. What a showing. Mm-hmm. One, it was the Dro Visage, a classic. This game is the Wiz Tiny. Two classics and secret. What a performance, what a showing.
series. What a story. Secret. They have done it. Let's give it up for IG. There are runners up. They put on one hell of a show to take it to a game five. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Secret. What a show. Guys, please, could I have one, one representative here? Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. Please, first, your trophy. Indulge, please. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Team Secret. You have done it. You are going to be the first Red Bull Battleground Champions. Take it in, gentlemen. So, S4, we meet again. You have done it. You got that land win. How good does it feel? Pretty good. <laughs> All right, so this went the full five game stretch. You came in here quiet, but confident that you were gonna get a 3-0 sweep. IG proved to be pretty difficult. Did you expect it to go all the way? Did you see? Did you expect that IG were going to be this difficult? Yeah, I kind of expected it to go five games, but I just they, they, I, I knew they were really, really strong opponents. So, at what point did you know that you had won this game and that you got it? It was uh, the bottom lane fight when we just uh, team wiped them. It was one hell of a show. So now that you won, what are you going to do to celebrate? I'm um, probably going to go celebrate with my team and go out and drink, maybe. We'll see. Go out and party, maybe at the, the fourth. We'll see. So before I let you go and you celebrate, maybe get some drinks, maybe some Red Bull, do you have any words for your fans? Uh, thank you, fans, for watching. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. Congratulations, S4. Congratulations, Secret. You guys were amazing. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. I'm going to go ahead and give a quick shout out to our casters, David and David, LD and Gods, our analysts, Merlini, Zaiori, and Demon, to our offstage producer truck, Ob's Mott, our admin, Andre, and also Red Bull for one hell of a production. And of course, the Warfield Theater staff. It has been a pleasure. Happy Mother's Day, everyone, and with that,